What is going on YouTube? Great to be back here with another video. Today, I would like to give you guys what I personally think are the best settings for Escape from Tarkov. These settings have been given to me by a professional who's worked on computers for a lot of people. Um, now, I want to do not just in-game settings for Tarkov, I want to do the desktop settings. So let's go into the desktop settings first, and I want to show you just directly what I have. I had pretty close to what I was recommended to have. Um, I just want to show you guys what I'm working with here really quickly. So if you don't know how to get to this, you're going to go to your main, your main screen at your desktop. You're going to right click. You're going to go to display settings. Make sure you're comfortable with everything here. Advanced display settings. We want to make sure we are on the highest Hertz rate possible for your monitor. And again, that's right click display settings. Make sure we're on the display setting at the top left there. We're going to go down to advanced display settings. Make sure that's see it just. Uh, well, that's because I'm streaming, so. The display to my other monitor is locked into 144 because I'm using a uh, Elgato 4K60 Pro. And then we have the display one, which is my main monitor, which is at 240. Now, if you have one PC set up, make sure that that is at your highest hertz rate possible. Your hertz rate is how many times the screen refreshes the image. So in other words, if you have 144 hertz monitor, you're going to be able to get up to 144 frames per second maximum. Now, again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go right click on the main screen. I'm going to go to the NVIDIA control panel. And this will be a longer video, but I promise it will be worth it. We want to make sure we go up here to manage 3D settings. And now we want to be on our global settings here. And I won't list these off. I'll just have these visible for you guys. Um, and if you have any questions uh, regarding any of this, please feel free to ask me. So I'm just going to slowly scroll through all of this. And of course, as you're watching the video, you can just pause. Now, these settings were given to me, again, by a professional. I'll scroll through it just one more time, just so you guys have that visible for you, okay? Now... I'm going to go down to here next to adjust desktop color settings. This is very, very important for Tarkov. Um, now, I do want to say that a lot of this is personal preference, specifically with brightness and the digital vibrance. I recommend 50% brightness, 50% contrast, gamma at 1.00. And I'm rocking 64% digital vibrance. You'll see a lot of streamers and just Tarkov gamers in general rocking 75. 75 really does increase the colors a lot. For my specific monitor, the colors are pretty good as it is. And I have a lot of clarity. So I've, I've played on with the gamma at about 1.3 and digital vibrance on 75%. This is just my um, kind of personal preference. And... Um, since we're about to go into the game settings, I will mention that I do not run post effects due to myself running the NVIDIA uh, desktop color settings within, within the NVIDIA control panel. Um, again, with the digital vibrance and and and, the, and really, really all of these settings, you can feel free to play around with this. This is just what works best for me. I am on 1440p. Um, when I was on 1080, I preferred the vibrance at about 75 with the gamma at about 1.2 to 1.3. Um, and I, I, might, I do notice my webcam is cutting this off. I have hue uh, at zero. 
which I know is uh, is blocked off there. And this digital vibrance is right below where my mouse is here. And again, that's at 64%. Hue is at zero. We have brightness at 50, contrast at 50, gamma at 1.00. And that is uh, pretty much it as far as that goes. Everything else you're just going to want to leave alone. Now let's get into the game settings. Pretty straightforward and simple. And again, there are some variations with what people use. And there's nothing wrong with that. For example, automatic RAM cleaner and use only physical cores. I've had these on and off. And to tell you the truth, I don't see a huge difference. I'm running 32 gigs of pretty high speed, low latency RAM a 3080 and the Intel 99, the i9 9900K. My system, for whatever reason, runs best with these two off. I get over 120 FPS on most maps, except for Lighthouse, which is typically a lower FPS map as it is not optimized fully. So take that into consideration. It's typically not your PC if you do have lower frames on Lighthouse specifically. I prefer Factory. As my background, it seems to the, the main menu seems to perform better with with factory. I used to have labs. The lab is the background factory. The, the menu seems to perform better. As you guys can see, we have always shown, always shown, always shown. And this is in game. Um, you know, your health color scheme. I like polychrome. Um, I have the notification channel type at default. Um, and these are just allowing you to always see what's healed, what's not healed, what's damaged. If you have something blacked, um, if something is is yellow or, or not fully green, you will be able to uh, to see this. And I do like having um, the quick slots always shown in case I forget what I have hot keyed in my tactical rig. I have this always shown so that I, so that I can just look up and I know. Again, I have these two off. Feel free to tinker around with these. Seriously, guys, this is huge. Feel free, whether you're rocking AMD, Intel, whether you're rocking a uh, NVIDIA GPU or an AMD GPU, please feel free to mess around with really either one of these. Um, I I honestly don't think there's going to be much of a difference between um, the type of GPU you have. I think the primary difference here is um, your RAM and your, and your uh, type of CPU you're running. Again, that's going to be per, per setup. Um, I recommend just turning them on and off. And seeing what runs better with your FPS being shown here, you can do that in the uh, Nvidia uh, settings as well. You can you can list that. I used to run 75 uh, max X, uh, FOV. Excuse me. Um, recently, I started running 62. Um, max FOV does not seem to be better in Tarkov. I strongly recommend rocking around 61, 62, 63. Um, and you'll notice that it is a lot better. Head bobbing, I have all the way down. Um, and again, malfunction notifications, that's personal preference if you want that to show you the malfunctions or not as a uh, as a, a notification. As far as graphics setting, settings go, I have always want your game in full screen. If you alt tab to go back to your desktop, typically the game, in my opinion, ends up feeling like it's not in full screen anymore. So. Make sure if you need to restart your game, if it feels funky after you've alt tabbed, make sure to, to restart game, go back to full screen. I'm running 1440. My aspect ratio is 16 by nine. Now I have texture quality on high, shadow quality low, object LOD quality is at two, and the overall visibility is at 1000. You can bring this down if you, if you really feel the need to. I do recommend these four strongly. TAA high is what works best with my system and what I've visually noticed. Um, if you're running like a gaming laptop, I do recommend FXAA if you're simply just trying to run the game. Uh, TAA, I would say, is the most the most popular setting for the anti-aliasing. I recommend if you have a decent PC setup specs, TAA or TAA high. See what feels better to you visually. I personally, like I said, prefer TAA high. I recommend resampling to be one times off. HBAO off, SSR off. Anisotropic filtering is on with NVIDIA reflex low latency on and boost. Sharpness, I have at 0 0.7. Lobby FPS limit is locked in at 60. 
and I have all of these settings down here at the bottom off. As I said before, I have the NVIDIA control panel color settings, so I don't personally run post effects. Some people swear by it. My personal opinion is it's not necessary with the NVIDIA control panel color settings. Sound, this is just my sound settings. Feel free to copy them. Um, here's where you'll enable VoIP, or you have the proximity chat. Um, I play my own music when I'm in game, so I have the music volume down to zero. Hideout volume, I have that all the way down to zero. Same with chat volume. Overall 100 interface volume is going to be at 100 as well. I don't recommend binaural audio. I had binaural audio on for the longest time, and it ended up confusing me more than making things uh, better. Now, I do want to, to say that this video is to help with your FPS, but it's also just overall game settings. And again, the controls will be your own personal preference. Um, default, keybind for VoIP is K, which is push to talk. I do recommend um, your uh, discard to be something like maybe Z would be a good key for discard, um, whatever you're comfortable with. That way you're not reaching over and hitting delete or right clicking to discard items. And that's really going to be it guys for all of your settings. Now, the one thing I really, really, really truly want to mention to finish this video off with is it's better to have a lesser amount of RAM that is lower latency and higher megahertz. I went from 32 gigs of RAM at 3,200 megahertz speed, CL 16 latency. I bumped it up to the same amount of RAM, 32 gigs, but I bumped up to 3,600 megahertz at CL14, and I saw a massive, massive FPS increase. I used to play Warzone, now I'm maining Tarkov. I've, again, noticed a massive increase in performance just with the RAM alone. More important than if you have a 2070 or a 2080, or 2080 Ti, I would recommend upgrading your RAM uh, before upgrading your, your graphics card. If That is if your graphics card and your CPU are both pretty powerful. Um, if we're, you know, if we're being honest, games are pretty quickly advancing and, and, and uh, requiring a lot more nowadays. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like, subscribe would be greatly appreciated but it's not expected i do appreciate you being here thank you so much for watching tonight is christmas eve merry christmas eve i hope you have if you do celebrate have a wonderful christmas tomorrow and if you don't celebrate i hope you have a wonderful end to this year and i hope you have a wonderful new year's i do stream every day my twitch is twitch.tv slash j diamati that's j d i a m a t t i I stream every day starting about 7 to 8 a.m. Pacific. I mainly stream Tarkov. Again, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the night, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.